American society is built on the democratic process, and ensuring accurate, auditable election results is key to maintaining it. Let's go behind the scenes and see how the integrity of your ballot is kept safe from start to finish. Voting machines undergo extensive examinations and tests before and after an election to ensure functionality and accuracy. Before every election, each machine is submitted for a program logic accuracy test using test ballots. The machine must count each test vote accurately to pass. Approximately a week before an election, the election authority conducts a public test where members of the public are invited to visit the election authority office and select two machines to verify that those machines pass the logic and accuracy test. The precincts are manned by bipartisan teams of election judges and each precinct has an equal number of Democratic and Republican judges. Election judges complete training before every election that includes the setup and teardown of polling places and the proper handling of voting machines and ballots. Each voter must present an acceptable form of photo ID to receive a ballot. After voting, the ballot is inserted into the voting machine. The machine scans the ballot and registers the votes. If a voter does not have an acceptable photo ID, they will be given a blue provisional ballot. The election authority verifies the signature on the provisional ballot envelope with that on the voter's registration. If they match, the ballot is counted in the election authority office. When polling places close at 7 p.m. on election day, a bipartisan team of election judges retrieves the ballots from the voting machines. The ballots are boxed up and a seal is placed on the boxes. A report of all ballots cast that day is printed from the machines and an identical digital copy of the report is saved on a flash drive. A bipartisan team of judges then takes the ballots and reports to the election authority office. As ballots and reports arrive at the election authority, a second count occurs through a central tabulator. To ensure security, the tabulator is not connected to the internet. The election authority shares the incoming results periodically on the election results website. Absentee ballots are counted on election day and included in the unofficial results. Once all precincts have reported in, the election authority publishes the unofficial results on the county website. In addition to the second count by the central tabulator and as dictated by the Missouri Secretary of State, the election authority conducts a manual count by randomly selecting several precincts and hand counting ballots for multiple races. Manual counts are performed by both a Democrat and Republican. One reads the ballot votes while the other tabulates the votes. They then switch roles and conduct the process again. If the manual count is not consistent after the second time, the process is repeated until they have an accurate count. That count is then compared to the machine count to ensure accuracy. If the machine count and manual count do not match, additional auditing occurs. Voting machines are tested again after the election. Auditors randomly pick one precinct to retest the results and voting machines must produce the exact same result to pass the audit. Election authority staff have two weeks after an election to verify the identity and voter registration status of each person who submitted a provisional ballot. Absentee ballots collected at polling locations on election day or received by mail from military members also are reviewed and counted during this time. These votes can be pronounced invalid based on voter registration status or lack of voter signature and or notary when applicable. The final ruling for the acceptance or rejection of these ballots is issued by the Verification Board, which is comprised of the Election Authority Director and an appointed member from both the Democratic and Republican Central Committees. The Verification Board meets approximately 12 days after an election to review contested ballots and conduct a final review of the voting results. The board looks over each precinct and verifies the requests for ballots equal the number of ballots submitted to ensure ballot box stuffing did not occur. The board counts any affidavits or address changes by voters and abandoned ballots. Once the verification board has concluded any rulings and verified results, a final statement of votes cast is submitted to the Secretary of State's office and County Council, as well as any other organization or municipality with a race in that election. Election results are sealed and kept for at least 22 months as required by state law. To learn more about the election process, visit sccmo.org slash election authority.